Due to the explicit content, viewer discretion is advised. Um, let's do an update. Let's find out where the hell we are. Uh, <laughs> we are about 400. I don't even remember. I, uh, I don't. Oh, I think it was like 500 something kilometers, wasn't it? So we're about 400 kilometers out. Really haven't gone that far. Uh, six hours and 30 minutes to compl to get there, and we need. We're gonna sleep in six hours, so we gotta stay on top of this. Otherwise, we're gonna be pulling in, and we're gonna be exhausted. We have 10 hours to complete the job, d though, so we can stop and sleep if we choose. Um, I would just rather not. I'd rather just crank it out in this one run and just get there. Even if we get there exhausted, at least we get there around the time that, you know, we'd be uh, we'd be getting tired so we can just drop the load and then sleep. Um, but yeah, so it's going to take us about six in-game hours, which shouldn't be too bad, real lifetime. Uh, but yeah, we'll just keep cranking it out. Yeah, the Drake break is so quiet on this. That's it right there. I'm jaking right now. You don't even hear anything. <laughs> it's cool and it's not at the same time. I mean, if you... Uh, if you like really no loud, noisy trucks, which I do, um, you know, it's it's kind of disappointing, but at the same time, it's, you know, it's nice. It's, uh, it's kind of luxurious and quiet and seems like there's insulation with the, uh, with the T-800. God, it's just, it's like you're driving an engine. Like, that's it. You're just, just, there's just an engine, and you're just sitting on it with, like, wheels. And you're just like, there you go. There's there's a truck. It's just it's this noisy, crazy thing. Um, with this, it kind of feels a little more comfort, a little quieter. It's it's actually pretty nice. Um, but I'm like, like I said, I like them both equally. I'm not biased against trucks or anything like that. You know, I don't think one's better than the other. It's, uh, you know... I, I've, I've started to notice in my old age that... <laughs> in my old age, I'm I'm fucking 22. I'm not even old, but I'm uh, old age compared to being a teenager. When you're when you're a teenager, you're very opinionated. Um, you really you know you when you like something, you like it, and if there's a competitor to that, you hate it. Uh, that's just how teenager teenage brains work. Um, but there's nothing there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing. Oh my god, we're going quick. Ooh, we're gonna kill somebody. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with that. Like you, it's not bad being opinionated. Um, just my personality, I've found that as I get older, as I you know progress in my age, uh, especially when I started to get into my 20s, um, I just found that my opinions about something like if I let's say I was like, I don't know, like let's say I was like a really diehard like Ford fan or something, and like you know Ford doesn't go well with Chevy. Like, people are like, oh, I don't like Chevy. It's like, oh, I don't like Ford. Well, I just, there's probably at one point in time I would have picked a side. I would have been like, oh, I don't like that other side because I like this side. But, well, you know, am I, you know, when I'm starting to just, I don't know. I don't know if I'm slowing down or, or what, but I'm just realizing that there's advantages and disadvantages to both. You know, it's like, I'm someone that likes, especially now in my life, I like to hear both sides of the story. I like to, you know, see what both people or both sides both, you know, have opinions about. Like, if one side doesn't like something for some reason, I like to hear why, and then vice versa. And then you can you can make your own comparison. Do I like Ford? Yeah. Do I like Chevy? Yeah. Do I like Dodge? Yeah. It doesn't matter. They're all, they all have great things. I don't know. There will be some people that disagree with me, like, oh, Ford is the worst, or whatever. Um, you know, and that's fine. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with having your opinion. It's just that I've just come to just stop fighting over it. There's just no point. There's no point of, like, telling. If someone's a diehard, like, I don't know. If someone's a, oh, we are doing all things wrong again. If someone's, like, a diehard Ford fan, you're clearly not going to change their mind about their opinion, you know, with, uh, with talking about what you want to do, you know, or like what you like about Chevy. Like they're not going to go, Hmm, that's a, that's a really good argument. I didn't even think about that. You know, they're, they're, if they're so diehard about it, they're just going to keep with it. So I've just, I don't know. I've kind of figured that out as I've been getting older and just, you know, more grown up really. And then I've just stopped really fighting about stupid things, you know, and I'm a Raiders fan. 
I think once you once you're a Raiders fan for a certain amount of years, you kind of just start to realize that, eh, doesn't really matter, does it? What the hell is going on here? I am doing all sorts of. Nope, that's 18th. God, I am, I am terrible. But yeah, no. Once you once you're a Raiders fan, and everybody's like, "Oh, the Raiders suck," and you're just like, "Yep." <laughs> it's like sand. And what? 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 What do you want me to say? No, that's not. It's not. Yeah, of course they suck. <laughs> I mean, but they're my team. You know, I don't. I, I don't jump ship. I'm not a bandwagoner. I'm not gonna be like, "Whoa, the Seahawks are good. I like them." It's just you know, I don't know. Random tangent about maturing but yeah like I said there's 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 not anything against oops there we go it was K I was trying to I don't have it mapped on my on my uh, wheel I had to hit it on my keyboard oops what am I doing my brain is breaking I, I so I had to hit high beams on my keyboard and because I I can't really see over my wheel I hit L instead of K and I just turned my lights off. That was freaky. Yeah, well, hopefully we can get around this truck. We had some terrible shifting mishaps going on because I'm an idiot. But we were slowing down for this truck anyway, which we're kind of wanting to be on the... You know, we, we want to be on the gas. We want to get going because we want to make that time. We don't want to be having to sleep with being like 100 kilometers out. That would really suck. So... Yeah, no, things are, um, things are good. Really, really enjoying, uh, life right now. Uh, my Miata needs a clutch. That's, that's kind of unfortunate, but, you know, it's been something that I've known about literally since I bought the car. You know, my cousin drove it and was like, yeah, you're going to need a clutch in a couple months. And that was over a year ago, so definitely driving it now, and I'm starting to, I think the other day I noticed the first burning smell. I hadn't noticed everyone's like, I'm like, oh, I think I need a new clutch. And the first thing everyone asked, you smell burning? And I, was, I always said no, because I didn't. I didn't smell any burning. Um, but the clutch, just, it just didn't feel as good. It just, it was kind of, you know, it just wasn't feeling right. And I've known that it's needed a clutch since over a year ago. Um, and But the other day I got in it and I was between two cars and I, I had my top off, not my shirt, my convertible top. <laughs> um, but I had that off and I was between two cars and the car was on. Um, and I depressed the clutch to, um, to, to put it in gear, to start going. And I heard when I pushed the clutch in, there's a, there's a different pitch, there's a, there's a note pitch. You know, it's, it had a different sound to it. Um, so I, I released it and I kept pressing and releasing and you could just hear that it was making this this audible change when I was doing that, which is a good sign that it's, you know, starting to go. Uh, at the same time, like I said, it just hadn't been feeling 100% right. It feels like the engine has a ton of power. I say a ton, but it's a Miata, so it's not. It's like, I feel like the engine has like about three horsepower but it feels like only one kind of gets transferred to the wheels. You know, like the engine actually doesn't, like it's it hasn't changed since I bought the car. I mean, it's had parts replaced, but it's been a very strong engine. It hasn't seemed like it's been getting sluggish or anything, but you know, it just feels like that power isn't being planted to the ground like it used to be, which is another indication that the clutch is going. So Miata needs a clutch, isn't cheap, but I'm just gonna get an OE. It's not so much the parts. It's it's the it's the job. It's the labor. Uh, I can't do a clutch replacement uh, myself. My cousin could do one, but he's extremely busy, so I don't think he's gonna have the time. He's, you know, he has the knowledge to do it. And I guarantee he's done it about eight other Miatas. Um, so he has he has the knowledge. He just doesn't have the time, and. Um, yeah, it's just it's just easier to get it done at a shop. So I'll 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 just end up purchasing the parts myself. That way I know what's going in there instead of like just taking it to a shop and having them put generic clutch brand C in there. Um, so and then I also at the same time I think while I'm in there or while I'm having somebody go in there and root around, I think I'm gonna invest. I think where I'm gonna invest the money is in an aluminum flywheel. A lot of people from what I've read online have said 
like one, a big adjustment is the aluminum flywheel so they they are they are on the expensive side but everyone's like driving experience wise it, it makes a big difference also everyone's saying a short shifter i don't know i haven't decided about a short shifter yet um the throws in the miata not really long but they could be shorter so i i, I think i want to get a if i get a short shifter though i want to get an adjustable i want to spend the money on an adjustable because Having really short throws is nice, but I couldn't imagine that would be nice all the time. I'm pretty sure there'd be there'd be times where you'd be like, you know what? Kind of want it to be what it used to be like stock. Especially if someone else drives your car, which I don't know why anybody else would be driving my car, but you know. But yeah, so the clutch, the, the, the Miata needs a clutch. Crown Vic needs brakes. Uh, I've known about that since I bought the car in November. November of 2012, 2012, 2014, 2012, what the fuck, of 2014, um, so I've known about that for a long time, um, I say a long time, but it's only been a couple months, the guy was like, you should probably replace the brakes in the next, I think he said like 5,000 miles or something, it's only, I've only put two on it, um, I say only, but it's been a couple months, but yeah, I put 2,000 miles on it, I've been really gentle on the brakes, haven't been doing anything crazy, knowing that they've needed to be replaced, so I'm just going very easy, braking super early, very lightly, not, you know, not trying to go crazy on it, trying to slam on it, so, yeah, no, it's, um, Crown Vic needs brakes, those, are, those aren't going to be expensive, I have, the, the guy actually gave me free brake pads when I bought it, he, um, he, he was going to do the job himself, uh, bought the brake pads, and then just decided to sell the car and just had the brake pads, so he decided to give me the brake pads, uh, which was really nice. So that saved me some money, so I'll, I'm, I am going to spend a little bit of money and just go ahead and swap the rotors while you're in there. You know, rotors really aren't that expensive. Um, I mean, depending on what kind of rotors you get, they're, they're really not that bad. If you're going in there and doing the job anyway, why not just do it 100% instead of having to do it, go back in there, and do it again? Um, also, if there's any sort of warping with the rotors, it's going to transfer to the new brake pads, and then it's just not, not good. So, other than that, both cars doing really, really nice. Um, really enjoying them. You know, there's some days where I'm like, man, why do I own that Miata? Like, I should just get rid of it. And then there's some days I go, why do I own that Crown Vic? And then I drive them, and I'm like, oh, man. I just, I love both of those cars, like, equally. They're, like, they're so nice. They're so nice. That's weird. I just noticed when I turn my right blinker on, look, you can see in my mirror. You can see the flash. I guess it's just that bright that it shines through. Um, how are we doing on fuel? We're doing fine on fuel. Okay. Yeah, we're just cruising with that cruise control on. It's been doing great. I mean, we've been getting, like, you know, a certain amount of liters per kilometer, which don't even bother asking me what the transfer rate is literally can't do that at all but oh god scratch my eyes it scratched my eyes out and i was almost all off the road but yeah so um uh yeah no things are good things are good uh after i shoot this shoot this video after i record this video uh, i'm gonna ed edit it up get it encoded get it uploaded for tomorrow um, at the same time, while I'm doing all that, I'm going to do the PC video. Because my plan is to get that PC video out tomorrow, sometime during the afternoon. So, like, uh, on the 17th, Tuesday the 17th of fe February, I want to get that video out sometime in the middle of the day before this, before the first ETS-2 comes out. Because I know you guys are really, really asking about it. And I don't want to just reveal the specs and, uh, like, comments or anything but you know I just like I said things have been kind of crazy just getting back on track with doing things and just working out the issues that I've had with the machine which really it's been a I've had a couple things I'm not saying that it's 100% perfect but it could be a lot worse so just you know issues and just trying to get it back to being what it was on my old machine after using it for a year you know obviously things aren't going to be 100% um, you know, set up to my liking. So, also I'm on Windows 8 compared to 7, which I've installed Windows 7 Classic Shell, which has done a lot. But at the same time, 
there are some things that are different, which are good and bad. I, there's things I like, there's things I don't like, but I've just been trying to get all my programs and there's just, there's just so many little things. It's not so much the big things, like I got Adobe, like I got my editing stuff, like that's not really that big of a deal. Got all my recording stuff, got my games, all that's not really a big deal. The, the biggest deal is the little tiny things when you're like, you know, like I downloaded a, a Crown Vic for um, LCPDFR and inside the folder it had a README and it wanted to open with some random reader in Windows 8 like application. And I was like, uh-uh. So I had to go get like, you know, a, uh, Adobe Reader and just stuff like that. You know, just little things that you miss. But yeah, no, it's been uh, it's been fun. It's 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 nice having a fresh setup. You know, you kind of get to know what's where. You know, after you have think a PC for a, a certain amount of time. You know, and I'm not gonna get in that lane. After you have a PC for a certain amount of time, you kind of just go. You know what? Just let it be wherever. <laughs> but this is the first PC I've owned with. Mm, I'm gonna go ahead and say this because. Like I said, if I don't get this video out by this time, or the PC video out, um, I'm a fool. But this is the first PC I've owned with multiple drives. Um, I have a lot of drives in this machine, and it's kind of a mindfucker at some points. Um, just having all these different drives like that you can install things to and like put things in, it's just like, oh man, it is a process. So it's been a, it's been a learning curve that's probably been the biggest thing is just having all these multiple drives to put things on and deciding what should go where and how i should use things that's been the biggest thing but um for the most part it's been relatively easy getting things set up hardest thing honestly with gta 4 that was just a fucking mess all right well we are pulling into munching really glad we are because i am exhausted in real life and in, excuse me, man, I am hiccuping. I, I, I ate, um, oh, I know. That is the, by the way, that is the worst noise. That's the noise that's saying that you're getting tired. That is the worst noise. Like, instead of that, dun, it's just this terrible beep, which I don't know if it's a mod or what, but man, is it annoying. But yeah, no, I'm getting tired in real life and, uh, and in game, so couldn't have been any sooner. We are pulling in. We're going to drop this load off and find a place in game to sleep. And we'll, uh, oops, that was premature. That is what she said. Why did I have my blinker on? See, I'm just, I'm exhausted. I am exhausted. I haven't been sleeping well lately in real life. Been being waking up. Oh man, yo, this house is extremely nice. Just crawling into bed. That sounds great. If you guys are watching this uh, in bed on your mobile phones or whatever, um, just let you know I'm jealous that you be you get to be in bed, and uh, I don't get to be in bed anytime soon. I get it. I'm freaking god. There's the worst noise. And it is literally the worst noise. But yeah, if you're in bed, I'm jealous. And uh, we can't be friends because I can't sleep. So. <laughs> oh, God. I just. Ugh. Just wanted to bleh, drop the trailer. I feel how my guy feels in real life. Just exhausted. Oh, there we go. I like that. All right. Park and brake, flashers, and drop the trailer. Oh, man. So, achievement, all is possible progression. 10 out of 30. I think that's how many places we visit. I don't know. But we just drove 591 kilometers. Took us 9 hours and 20 minutes in game. And we got 783 XP and 18, almost 19,000 euros. So, that was pretty good. Like I said, I'm exhausted. My guy's exhausted. Uh, I gotta still edit and upload this video, and I've I still might even shoot my PC video tonight. So I'm I've got a long night ahead of me. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, l like I said before, if you want the ETS2 series to continue, you really gotta let me know. And the only way you can let me know is by liking the videos. Liking the videos is pretty much just saying that you do want to see this series continue. 
Um, that's the only way this series is actually going to be able to thrive. So go ahead and let me know if you want to see more by liking these videos. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys when I'm more rested next time. Bye.